Uh, this is Tim from 91.5 WBIM on severe auditory trauma. I got Dave Allison from Native. How's it going? Excellent. How are you doing? Not bad. So, how's it to be back in the band with Mustaine uh, once again writing and playing music together? You know what, it's great. It's been really a, uh, a fun journey this last year, really, almost, you know, to the to the date. Came back February of last year, and, and um, you know, we got in the room together, it was February 5th, and uh, jammed through some tunes, and it just, man, it felt great, looked cool. Yeah. It was just kind of like, man, it was like, it was like we had never had any time apart, you know? Yeah. And uh, so it was so much fun, so it was good just to lock arms again, and yeah. Jump off the cliff together here <laughs> and go for it again. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, do you feel a big difference in playing music off of albums that you weren't with Megadeth for as opposed to the older classics that you were on board for? Um, you know, it's funny. Some, you know, like Head Crusher, for instance, is a brand new song um, from Endgame. Um, yet there's a couple of the songs, like some things from 1320, uh, The Right to Go Insane. Some There's some bits of those pieces of those songs that we actually worked on back in maybe euthanasia or even cryptic writings. There's little bits and pieces. And that's kind of how it goes in Megadeth. You know, we'll, we'll write a, a, a riff or maybe even start a composition. And for whatever reason, it just, it's time hasn't come yet. You know what I mean? So it doesn't get completed and lots of times stuff will sit for a few years. In fact, the very first song Dave ever showed me was a song called Megadeth when I met him in 1983. Didn't end up on a Megadeth album until our third album, and it was retitled um, Set the World Afire. Oh, wow. Right? So that's yeah. how, I mean, so right, the first song ever wasn't on the first album. So, yeah. and even Devil's Island and some of those kind of tunes, you know, that, Devil's Island is probably the second song Dave showed me, and that didn't end up on a record until he sells but who's buying. So a lot of things, you know, kind of simmer and brew and, you know, it takes a while sometimes for them to, uh, you know, to be, uh, you know, turn into full-on composition. So a lot of the tunes, um, you know, especially the stuff we've done off Endgame, you know, there's like, oh, wait a minute, I remember that riff, or I remember when we wrote that in, backstage in Paris, or we were standing in the sound check in Germany, and you know what I mean? So, so some of it, to me, is kind of a fun trip back down memory lane again. Yeah, that's cool. So does it, is there like a lot of advance or like um, is there a lot changed to the songs when you came back or like or after yeah. it was written you, you know? yeah I mean you know those obviously the songs that were once in Megadeth once the song's recorded we play it exactly how it's recorded you right. know we're not like Van Halen where it yeah. turns into this long extended party jam you know what I mean right. some bands do that we don't we play it exactly as, as it was recorded because we know that's what our fans that's how they heard it and they come to the concert and they want to hear it play just like that you know right. um and um, so as far as new material, like with this next record called 13 that's going to be coming out, which is the new studio album, you know, that was a fun process just to, um, it came together pretty quickly, quite honestly, because we, we did it between the Big Four show in India of April, went right in the studio, and then we had to have it done before we did the next Big Four show, which was in Germany, and uh, July 2nd. So we really had like this little 10-week window window in there to, to basically arrange and and finish any writing and recording an entire album. So, and really, we did, you know, we, we knocked out over a dozen songs for the record, so, you know, that's like a song about every five days. Wow. <laughs> you know, if you really boil it down to the workload, you know. So it's been a fun process.